So the question reads as follows. A survey of 40 students was carried out to find how many owned an MP3 player, a digital camera, or a CD player. One student does not own any of these. X students own all three, while 2X own an MP3 player, a digital camera, but not a CD player. And so on. Right, so this is the details of a three-set problem. And as usual, it says, construct a Venn diagram and solve for X. So because we're talking about three different collections of data, we need to put make circles for each one. So a circle for MP3, a circle for digital camera, and a circle for CD players. And then what we need to do is start off by identifying what the universe is. So the universe is the total number of students who were surveyed, which is 40. So we put that up here. Now you can do this different ways, but generally I think the easiest way to do this is to start with the middle element here. So that's the, the, the students who had all three of these, the MP3 player, the digital camera, and the CD player. So if you read through the, the information here, it says X students owned all three. So clearly X goes in the middle. After that, I try and work my way outwards. So I try and figure out what goes in here. Now this 2x comes from this sentence, while 2x own an MP3 player and a digital camera, but not a CD player. Now that's important that they say, but not a CD player. That means the 2x only goes into this area. It couldn't be a CD player, so 2x doesn't belong to here. If they didn't say, but not a CD player, then that would simply say that two, two X people owned a digital camera and MP3 player. So it would be the total intersection of digital camera and MP3 player. So in that case, you would have to put just one of the X's in here and the other X in here. But of course, they don't say that. They say, but not a CD player. So the, the full two X goes in here. Now, it says 10 people own an MP3 player and a CD player. So... That must mean the 10 belongs to the intersection of MP3 and CD. So 10 belongs to all of this. But as we've already got X in here, that means that this part here will be 10 minus X. So you notice in this part, they don't say, but not a digital camera, or they don't say 10 own an MP3 player and a CD player only. If they had said that, then we'd just put the 10 in here. But because the 10 belongs to the total intersection of the two sets, then we have to minus the x that we've already put in here. So generally speaking, if you don't see a but not or only at the end of these clauses, that means you have to minus whatever is in the middle from the number. Similarly here, it says 11 own a digital camera and a CD player. So that means 11 belongs to this intersection here. But we've already got X in here, so we have to take it from 11 to put it in here. So the next job is to fill in these areas here. Now that's already done for you here, but I'll show you how I got these expressions. So we know that there's 22 in the whole set of digital cameras, because it says 22 own a digital camera. So there's 22 in here altogether, but we've already put 2x, x, and 11 minus x in here. So really this area here is the difference between 22 and all of these. So we need to take all of these from 22. Now the best way to do that is to do it in your rough work, like I've done here. So we say 22 minus, and then in brackets, we add all of these guys. So it's 2x plus x plus 11 minus x. We simplify that down. It becomes comes to 11 plus 2x. And then we, if, we, if we multiply out the brackets, that means we're minusing these two elements. So it becomes minus 11 minus 2x. 22 minus 11 gives you 11. So we end up with 11 minus 2x, which goes in here. So to get this uh, value here, we do something similar. We know that the people who own CD players are 24. 
So we take all of these from 24. So it's 24 minus the sum of all of those guys. We cancel out the x's here. So that leaves us with 10 plus 11, which is 21 minus x. Then we minus, to get rid of the brackets, changes the sign of both of these. So this becomes minus 21, and this is plus x. Very important, minus by minus gives you plus. 24 minus 21 gives you 3, so we end up with 3 plus x goes in here. Similarly for this one, 22 minus the sum of all these guys. So 22 minus brack in brackets all of those guys. Simplify them down. Get rid of the brackets. Make sure you get the sign right. Tw 22 minus 10 gives you 12. So we're left with 12 minus 2x here. Finally, we're told that one student does not own any of these. So that one student goes out here. So now that we've filled in all of the gaps here, we're ready to create an equation which we can then solve to find out what x is. Now to create the equation, you need to put the universe equal to everything inside. So this 40 is the sum of all the numbers that you see here, apart from the numbers in brackets. So what you need to do is you need to add all of these up. Now the simplest way to do it is to take, say, this set as 22, so everything in here adds up to 22, so you don't need to add all of these guys, you just say this is 22 and then you add on the remainder. So 22 plus 11 minus 2x plus 11 minus x plus 3 plus x plus 1, all of that gives you 40. So that's the equation you're looking for. So just to repeat that again, this 22 comes from all of this set and then we're adding on the 11 minus 2x, the 11 minus x the 3 plus x and the 1. So these 3 plus this, plus all of this. All of that gives you 40. Then we simply add the like terms here until we get 48 minus 2x. And then we, we want to bring the 2x over here to make it plus 2x and bring the 40 over here. And in the end, you end up with x equals 4. Now, I highly recommend doing it, this question in this manner by working what goes in here outside of the universe. Don't try and work things out in here. It becomes very confusing when you do that, and you're very unlikely to get uh, a substantial amount of marks for this question if you do it that way. So work all of this out in your work work, and then put your answer in here. And at the end, when you get x equals 4, you can replace the x with 4 if you want. But if you do that, you have to remember to cross this out and replace it with your answer. So in this case, it would be 11 minus 2 times 4, which is 11 minus 8. So that would be, give you 3. So what you could do is cross that out and leave 3 here. Do not leave 3 here and leave that uncrossed, because then you will lose marks for that question. Now the second question says, hence calculate the percentage of students who own one item only. So we have to work out the students who own one item only. So that would correspond to this area, this area, and this area. So we'd have to replace this, the x's, in all of these. So I'm just going to do that now. So we get three, three students who, who own only digital cameras, seven students who own only CD players, and four students who own only mp3 players. So we need to add them up, that comes to 14. And to get them as a percentage of the total number of students, we put 14 over 40 and multiply it by 100. And if you work that out in your calculator, you're gonna get 35%. So 35% of students owned one item only. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel I hope to upload more videos before the exam this week and we'll definitely be doing videos on the Leaving Cert next year. So subscribe and make sure not to miss out on those videos. Thank you.